Hey guys, this is Jay. As you can tell by the, uh, the icicles forming in my mustache, <laughs> it's pretty cold here today. Uh, so it's Christmas Eve here in Kentucky and we had some pretty cold weather blow in in the last couple days. We didn't get a ton of snow, but the temperature has been super cold. I mean, it's just now starting to get above zero. I think my phone said it's like three degrees right now. Um, and so that can only mean one thing. It's time for another cold start video. Um, so full disclosure, I, uh, <laughs> I tried this yesterday and it didn't even come close to starting. Um, I think those, uh, those Optima batteries right there, that was their death sentence. Um, so the voltage drop was so severe when I cranked yesterday that the dash kept losing power. So I don't even think it was firing the injectors. Uh, we tried to jump it for about 10 minutes on my stepdad's truck. Still wouldn't fire up on those. Um, so I went to AutoZone and picked up, if I can get my thick glove fingers in here, picked up a pair of Odyssey Extreme batteries. Um, this is of course nothing against Optima. Those batteries were in the truck when I bought it and they've been in it for about three years. And um, honestly, they we, we had weather in the teens a week or so ago and they fired it up just fine um, in that cold so uh, the getting below zero was the death sentence for those um, but uh, but yeah this is gonna be neat this is this is by far the the coldest that I've started this truck um, and and again full disclosure it was so cold yesterday that even those odysseys they would crank it and it would start to kick over but it wouldn't fire up so I had to I had to plug in the block heater just like I have right now it's been plugged in for only about 20 minutes and that's all it took yesterday um, so we'll we'll see how it responds today um, this is also a really neat sneak peek at a video I'm hoping to put out in a week or so because what you'll see here is how um, the EFI live tuning I've done will cause this thing to idle at 1200 rpm until the coolant temperature rises up to about 100 degrees and what's really neat about that video and i'll of course talk about that in detail when that video comes out but as you can see i still have my inline tuner hooked up so so that means that this truck has an efi live tune on it and an inline tuner and it works fantastically um, so what you guys will see here today is uh is the advantage of that high idle curve because it it really helps the truck warm up quick and i will uh i'll keep the camera rolling the entire time so you can hear it idle down um, it's it's really neat and it's it's a really nice um it forces you to let the thing warm up and i'm very happy with that because i want this engine to last for a very long time and uh this is a good way to do it so let me uh get this camera put in place um, I'll get out my phone and film the start from the inside as well so you can see the dash and the oil pressure come up and everything and then of course this view from out here all right here's the phone camera before I crank I want to give a huge shout out to hot shot secret here because this additive right here is the only reason that this truck still has usable fuel I've heard of a couple other trucks that even with a different additive um, have been completely frozen up in this weather so having this in the tank is the only reason my truck has been able to start so uh, let's put that to the test key on glow plugs warming up there they are Stay here till it builds oil pressure. It's starting. Man, oh man. This oil is cold. Gonna wait till it gets up to the relief, which is about 60, 70 psi. There you go. You can see it's idling at 1200, and uh, we'll send you back to the out of vehicle view.
breeze coming out, but this thing's burning clean, even in single digit temperatures. All right, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it just idled down a little bit. So I'm gonna pick you back up and we'll listen to this thing idle down as the temperature raises up. So in the EFI live tune, it's set to start lowering temperature once the coolant temp reaches 90 degrees and it returns to normal idle at 110. Uh, that's only because that's the cell numbers for 90 and 110. So I have a basically 500 RPM drop over 200 RPM. There it goes, it just idled down again. All right, well that should pretty much have it all the way down to idle. I'm gonna walk around in the cab and we'll see what it's idling at. See if you can see this. Yep, that, that might be a little bit high still, but that's basically down to idle. So that means this truck is up to temperature and ready to drive. Um, and uh, of course, everything under here is nice and smooth. These Odyssey batteries are beasts. I'm very pleased with that purchase. Um, but uh, like I said, guys, I've got another video that's hopefully gonna come out in a week or so where I can go over everything I've done um, with EFI Live on this truck and show you how it synergizes flawlessly with that Economine inline tuner. Um, I, am, I am thrilled with how well that turned out and uh, I'm uh, really hoping to get some, some attention on this one because I don't think anyone is really combining flash and inline tuning on these trucks. Uh, but uh, anyways guys as always thanks for watching and remember if it's smoking it's broken